Hello, it's uh, 4 12 19 Friday, South Scottsdale. It's very, very blue out. So, all that spraying is reflected on all of the blue street lamp, blue prism is what Mark Steele calls it. So, I walk out, everything's blue. You see, I don't know if you could tell, but my little uh, Sedona garden here is like all coated in glue, so you have all these sketchy clouds, no real bright sky like we usually have. It's just a haze of manufactured reflecting uh, the aluminum oxide and whatever coal fly ash that they have in their 2018 report on what's in the aerosol. So it's just very blue. I don't know if you could tell, but I'll show you what non-blue looks like in a minute, and we have the uh, very blue lighting, so this is all very bad for the retinal tissue to have constant blue, so you have to balance it with the ultraviolet with the infrared, which is not good shortwave by itself as well, and everything here is just and I'll show you what a yellow light looks like. The color of the paint here. And I guess I have this lamp in here. And that's a warm. So if I close the door and get rid of the blue, I think you see that's just a very uh, low wattage bulb. It's a, a incandescent 25 watt. And it has a beautiful Tiffany lamp kind of thing on it. So uh, this is what I, I do to have a low wattage incandescent bulb on uh, so that it balances the retinal tissue. And uh, you have a balance of Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, uh, blue, indigo, violet. So. If it goes to the edge of the violet, it goes uh, higher in frequency, and then we can't see it, and then it can be harmful. And the, what's in between, our rainbow, is long wave. It's very comfortable, and this incandescent light is very good for it, like candlelight. And then go, you go to the lower frequencies towards the radio, TV, and microwaves. You have infrared, and that, too, is RF bulbs are bad, too, with the flicker and the mercury dust. and a lot of other uh, information about compact fluorescent bulbs and those squiggly bulbs, that, that is also harmful. So uh, anything that uh, makes the eye healthier is good. Anything like the blue headlights or the LED headlights, uh, even if they're covered with a different white or whatever other color, there's still blue prism is what Mark Steele calls it in a recent interview he had with Barry Trower. And that's, they're both weapon scientists, so they know about warfare. And uh, that includes all forms of air warfare, light, laser, strobe, radar, microwaves, uh, cooking through the air, uh, if it's invisible, you think you don't see it, and then they spray the skies with these chemicals, uh, misappropriating our tax dollars, and these planes go nowhere, and they are not condensation trails, and there's uh, all kinds of documents uh, proving, uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is not a good thing. Thank you.